Hi everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyr Travels, and in this video we've got something a little bit different. We're going to do a little what if, and it's what if we bought a camper van. We recently went to a local RV show that was just um, camper vans, and we walked around and looked at them and, and kind of went through the thoughts of what it would be like if we got a camper van instead of an Airstream. Right. Or in addition to the Airstream, if we decided at some point we just wanted something smaller, something you didn't have to tow, maybe for longer trips that we didn't want to tow the Airstream, or if we ever were in a spot where we put the Airstream long term and just decided to travel in a, tra in a camper van. All right, so let's show you that video and we'll come back and give you our thoughts of the show. Way into the um, well, we're actually not going into the stadium, but we're at this um, state uh, farm stadium here in Glendale, and they're having an RV show in the parking lot. So we thought we would go in and check out some of these RVs. We're really looking at camper vans, which is probably the dominant thing that at this show. It's all motorized RVs. So we're going to go check out some camper vans, and the idea is that w what if we bought one? We think this would be a neat idea to have something like this in the future. And if we did, what would we want? So come along with us and uh, we'll check these out. Okay, so this is on a ProMaster and it has a pop-up top. So Look at it, it has a cracked windshield. It must be used. I don't think so. No, it looks new. Yeah. Correct windshield, but we check out the rest of it. Yeah. Is this something you would consider? Yeah, it has a wet bath. And that folds down for a bed. And has a table. And this is nice. It has, you know, the screen. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's storage in the floor. Yeah. Then your kitchen. You have your kitchen. You have stove top. Two burner stove top. Storage. Refrigerator's out here. Yeah, your refrigerator. And your cutting. wet bath. Yeah, and this hinges in the middle. Oh, it must be. Ah. Uh, because it wouldn't open up all the way, I guess. And you can also double that as a closet. And then it has the upper area. And it could be your an additional pop, yeah, pop top. sleeping area. And very kind of industrial, like what they call this vinyl coin flooring, which would be good because it would wear, wear well. Yeah. A couple of seats, probably a table that goes right, right there. A table that sits there. How do you get up there? You got to climb? Well, I'm sure there's a ladder. There's a cupboard up there. And a cupboard up here. And you're still hung up on how to get up there. <laughs> Why don't you put that up? Is there another area? No. Another what? Well, what's... If you... Oh, that's up. So this is what? Storage here? Yeah. It might be where the ladder is stored, too. Yeah, it feels like there's a ladder there. Right there. Oh. And then it's got a... Uh, this is a zipper-type screen. See, it rolls up. Oh, yeah. Okay. It rolls down. Similar to what's on the back. Here's a outdoor faucet. Okay. This is a Winnebago Solaris. And in here in the back, there's another outdoor faucet. You all your water connections. There's under the floor storage. Right there. Uh, night, uh, another outdoor shower? Yeah. Oh. And this, there's your table. Uh-huh. And this your drops bed. down. Storage underneath here. Yep. 
Hey. I'm not sure the pop top is does anything for me, but the uh, rest of it's not bad. Yeah. Travardo, another Winnebago. Let's see, this one is a little more expensive. Oh, this one. 102,000. This one's nice. This one's a little bit bigger. Yeah. I think it's longer. This one's got a TV. Yeah, this. Uh, micro, microwave. Yep. Refrigerator. And look at the bathroom. Yeah, it has a corner bath. Uh-huh. Corner bed. Corner bed. Probably two burner stove, storage. Mm. Mm. Might be a little bigger, tricky to get into. Bigger refrigerator. Yeah. So for us, there would be room underneath there for the dogs. Yeah, the dogs would be underneath there. Oh, look, it's got a separate freezer. Separate freezer. Pull out. closet. This one's nice. <laughs> Are these like off-road tires? A little bit, yeah. Not that it's really an off-road vehicle, but yeah. These are all more of the same about those. That's another one for 80,000. Yeah. Let's check that one out. Might be just the same as the one we just looked at. Yeah. It is. Oh, there's the Lad. stairs. Yeah. So that's how the ladder would be. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, you don't have to have that. Yeah. I'm thinking age-wise, you know. Right. Now, this is a shorter van, though, which might be nice. Yeah. The back is different on this one, though. It has more of the couch. Yeah. Huh. Twin beds. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This Another is nice. Twin beds. You rear have bath. Your, your bathroom in the rear. And there's still the, well, I don't know. You could probably, well, it has covers. I mean. What? Well, the bathroom's right here. Right, and you can still open the back doors. Yeah. This is nice. I like this. Yeah. Here's your micro... Or is, oh, it's a convection microwave. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, I like this. A little more upscale. Yeah, with your twin beds. Ooh, look at this. This is fancy. How much? This is 110. Wow. So, look at this. So it's a little more traditional layout oh, with the couch in the back. But this is your bed too. Yeah. Pretty fancy though. I mean, wardrobe. Leather or vinyl. Nice, comfy seating. It's the TV back here. Pantry. Oh, look. Refrigerator, freezer. Bathroom. Oh, look at this. Wow. And then this is set up. 
See how the doors are, yeah. So when you go to take a shower or whatever and give you more room, you hook them something like that. Oh yeah, okay. How's it close? First, that one goes, the one on the left goes in first and the one on the right. Hmm. This is nice. Road track, 110. A big drawer underneath there. Yeah. Extension to the counter. Counter. This is all solid surface. Yeah. Oh, it's got microwave. Oh, look, it's got a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. hmm. Drawer. Now, if you didn't know, these ProMasters are front-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's check out this one. This one's 109, 110. <laughs> IROC? IROC. Yeah. Hmm. This is pretty so, fancy. So this is similar to the other one. The mm. bed's down on it, though. Yeah. Mm. Wardrobe in the center. Wardrobe. Refrigerator's down underneath the stove. Convec uh, uh, convection. Yep. Nice amount of storage. Look at the countertop. In the wood, the dark wood. Yeah. Look at the cushions with the Stitching on them. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fancy. Oh, is this another one of those? Ooh, look, this even has a shower. Must, be, an open, must be a latch in there. Not gonna break it. Wow, this is pretty good size. Mm-hmm. Huh. Very nice. Oh. One thing, look at the piece of paneling down here. I mean, I know they will replace that. Yeah. But it kind of tells you how it's built. That's not real wood. It's a decal over particle board. Yeah. So not real great quality. But it's not two hundred thousand dollars either. It's true. These are Rams. Winnebago's. This, this stuff, does this have a bathroom? Wow, this is actually one that the roof's low for you. <laughs> I don't even think it has a bathroom here. No. Ugh. See, I can stand here. Yeah. So, this, has a, this is a low roof one. Yeah. Bedroom up above. No bathroom it looks like unless it's... No. That would hurt the uh, resale aspect of it or the purchasing aspect because it doesn't have a bathroom. It means you, your financing is less. That's true, but if you're it's still eighty six thousand. Yeah. I don't know. I definitely want a bathroom. Oh yeah. we've ever seen these have we maybe at the Hershey show at some point I don't know yeah pick one you want to check out is it oh it's passage passage it's not French 
Right. Prestige. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> prestige. It's French. It's prestige. This is 150. One thing you notice right away on the Mercedes, it's narrower. Yeah. If, yeah, it is. So you don't have as much space in here. Yeah. That's true. Now that you say that, you can, you know, then you feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Test. Look, it comes in with a built-in uh, uh, ladder. Yeah. Wow. So this one's four-wheel drive Integra. This is one of the nicer things about the Mercedes is you can get them in four-wheel drive. Oh, okay. So, step in. I can look. So you have a countertop extension here. Pulls out. Fridge is on the side. Wet bath. Oh, pretty nice. This is nice. Yeah. And this is a Integra, Integra Lodge. Similar to the last one we just looked at. Go ahead if you want. Huh? Oh, this one's four wheel drive too. Mm hmm. Table. Look, Diane. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Little storage area outside. So I think the only difference here is the screen's missing on it. Yeah. This is more of a traditional couch layout in the back instead of a bed. Uh-huh. Refrigerator. They need a handle. See, here's the advantage of having the bed layout. Well, see, like this one. The bed store is up above. Oh yeah. So this becomes open space. Oh. And it's not a bed. So you can store your bikes in here or other stuff. And then just lower the bed down. Oh nice. And the sides bump out to give you a little bit more width for sleeping. Mm. So how's the inside this one from the other end? Well this is the Winnebago. Ravel. Winnebago. Huh. Here's an industrial floor. Mm-hmm. Which would be good for us. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I think this oh, is... Oh, it's locked. Hey yeah. there. Huh. Okay. So the idea of the bathroom is if you don't need it to use it as a bathroom, you can put shelves in it. Gotcha. And become a giant closet. Oh, wow. Mm. Got a nice little table area. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about this? Yeah, this is nice. And then how do you get the bed down? It's power. So there's probably one of this right up here. See the... Oh, gotcha. Do you hear the switch? Oh, gotcha. Euro, Euro loft. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have any type of a cooktop, though. 
It's probably in the drawer. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, look at it's that. A, it's an induction. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. So I don't know if this has propane on it or not, but it's designed to be, you know, using solar and be fairly efficient. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. This has a candle. Oh. When two tone. Yeah, 162. Well, we found an Airstream Interstate. It's 104. Hmm. This one has twin beds. Yeah. Look at that. So it's a, it's a touring. A lot of cabinets, you know, on the sides here. Yeah. Nice countertop. It's a micro microwave convection. Oh, yeah. Like wow. a drawer. Oh, look at that. Got a good sized refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice wet bath. This is used. Yes. Yeah, at a a hundred and four thousand it's definitely used. My drobe closet. See it has a desk? Yeah. This one's got a crank windshield too. Mm-hmm. I guess it must be, you know if you travel you're more than likely going to end up with a cracked windshield. Yep. 104,000. There's another? Oh, that's a Atlas. An Atlas. We'll get to that. Let's check out the Storytellers. This is what oh, this is what um, the Russos have. Yes. So again, four-wheel drive. Yeah. Oh, they have the fold-down bed, right? Yes. You mostly see it down on theirs. And then they have. Well, they have their, theirs is on a uh, Ford chassis too, oh. with similar layout because this is doesn't have a bathroom. It has you know, a porta potty. Right, and then your shower pulls down. Yeah. yeah. Makes it more open. Yeah. This turns into a bed. Uh huh. One hundred eighty-eight thousand. One hundred eighty-nine. This four-wheel drive. Yes. We'll go And probably lifted. <laughs> oh. So this has the bed down. Oh my God, the retail on this is 314,000. Yeah, stick Whoa. the show price is 224,000. The one over there, the white one is a, a Ford. Let's check out the white one. This one? Yeah. Oh, these are all new. A little lower. Yeah. So this one has the bed, uh, second bed laid down. Uh -huh. It's quite a bit of room under there. Yeah. Yeah, enough for two dog beds. <sighs> uh. 
Well, we looked at a lot of different camper vans at that show, didn't we? Yes, we did. Did you have any favorites? Well, since we have the Airstream, I would be partial to the two Airstreams, more so the... Um, the interstate? The interstate. Yeah. You could really tell the quality of the interstate, when you, even though that was a used one that we looked at yes. and it was a few years old. It seemed to just hold up better than a lot of the other used ones that we saw there. Um, it just seemed to be built a little bit better. Yeah, and uh, as like we have in our Airstream trailer, it did have the twin beds, which is nice. Uh, that makes space in the middle for the dogs. It was just, it just seemed a better quality. You can tell the craftsmanship that goes into building the Airstream. They also have a new van. The new one on the Promaster chassis. It's, um, it's not the Ridge line, but it's the uh, something line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we did see one at the um, uh, RV, Tampa, RV show in Tampa. Yeah. And uh, that was small, so we would really want something in between the the Atlas is kind of large, but the Interstate was just the right size, I think, for us. I do like the quality, the craftsmanship of the Airstream. We did look at a lot of the other um, camper vans. Yeah, and, and I like the Airstream too, but I also like the, if I was going to get one on the Mercedes chassis, I think the um, Winnebago Ravel the four-wheel drive version of that and the one with it was kind of more industrial and rugged. I like that. Um, I just think that would be, you know, real nice, especially with the dogs because it would be easy to keep clean without having right. any fancy stuff in it, you know, right. like that. And I like the idea of the bed going up and down and having space for the dogs yes. underneath it. That, that was a nice feature. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse and me. it was actually a little smaller than the interstate and I think it made good use of that space mm -hmm. you know on that mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of other nice ones the storytellers were nice but I didn't I wasn't blown over by the layouts with them because you really didn't have a op a bathroom except for the porta potty that would be open to the middle of the rig right, right. so and that the price on them is yeah they're pretty expensive yeah. um, they're really more custom built um, you order them and they build them for you right I didn't really like the ones especially for us being more seniors with the uh, pop top and having to climb the ladder yeah, that, to get that, up to the bed. That would get old in a hurry. Yeah. And um, which ones were narrower? The the uh, Mercedes chassis were narrower. Um, and so you really needed to have a good layout with those compared to the ProMaster. Promaster was a wider body, and you really could tell the, distant, the additional room. Even when they were a shorter wheelbase than the Mercedes, mm -hmm. they still felt roomier. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why if they had that the, the new Airstream on the Promaster chassis, it would have been nice to compare that. Uh-huh. Um, but unfortunately, it was, there was, it's too new, and it wasn't there yet. Um, but that would be one that we would probably have to look at. Right, right. But yeah, they had a lot of nice models. It's something, you know, down the road we may consider if our circumstances change. But, you know, my preference was the Airstream, but there was a lot of the other nice models that we could, you know, get into. Right. And at this point, it's just, you know, what if. And so we're not really playing with what can we afford. Right. You know, other things that you would put into that equation if you're really going to buy one. Um, it's not something we're doing, you know, now or anytime in the near future. But it is something that someday, if we could do it, we would like to do it. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. We post new videos on a weekly basis and love to have you guys follow along. And until next time, we will see everybody down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Let's not waste time. We'll take this slow. We've got miles behind us and miles to go. So let's just break this down.